but surely, women are becoming rising leaders in today's diverse business world. And as one more woman is named CEO, CFO, or manager, it conveys a message to many other women that they too can chase their dreams and hope to make them come true. Two such women are joining us in the studio today. Kristen Hofert Redlinger is the Chief Talent Officer for Northwestern Mutual, and Tara Allen is the founder and leader of the Allen Edge Real Estate. They're also the Chair and Vice Chair of Sales and Marketing Executives Women in Business event, and they're here to tell us more about how you can recognize the women in your life who are also rising leaders. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you so much, both of you, for coming in today. Kristen, let's just talk about the event. The purpose is to, you know, highlight, congratulate these women and see what they're doing to change the world in business. So why is an event like this such a great thing for our community? So really this year, you said it already, that this event is all about connecting, leading and growing. And why this event is important to our community is really that even though women have made incredible strides, um, there's still a lot of women doing a lot of great things. And we really need to be able to represent more women in more C-level positions, as you said, and really get together, support women, other women helping rise other women up. And our allies, our men in Sioux Falls are so great. So really just coming together, having a chance to get education, development, um, and just truly celebrate these great things that are happening, happening in our city that women are making happen. We're looking at some video from last year's event too. So Tara, Tell me what the atmosphere and the vibes that are going on during an event like this. You know what, it's a lot of the like-minded women, right? They are growth mindset, they have a lot of energy, they're excited to grow, they're hungry for what's next in life and they're always looking to do more. So it's, it's a lot of high energy, great conversations, awesome networking. Networking, that's a big thing, Kristen. Yeah. So not only attending this and getting to award these women, but also networking. Why is that such a great thing at this event? So the great thing about this event is it really draws a bunch of different humans that come. So there are women that are at the top of their game, they are founders, they are CEOs, and then it also draws women that are beginning and new in their careers. And a lot of people will find mentorship at events like this. So the chance to meet people that you may not have typically met or to be in a situation where everyone's there, as Tara said, to grow and to thrive and to be able to make connections that may be beneficial to your business now or to the business that you'll have in the future. So Tara, let's talk about the nomination categories. Yes. This year we actually added a new one. So now we have six new categories. Excellence in marketing, excellence in sales, supporting excellence, entrepreneurial excellence, excellence in leadership, and our newest category would be the... We'll bring it up on the screen here too. There we go, excellence in public service. So why add this public service category? I mean, there's so many women in our community that give back so much. And we thought, what a great opportunity to reward these women that go above and beyond, above what they, you know, we wear a lot of hats as women. So oh, yeah. to be able to give back to our community as much as these, these women do, they deserve the recognition. So we have to nominate women for these categories, right? So Kristen, tell me about the nomination elements. So there are three questions. And really, when you are writing a nomination, you're, what we're looking for as judges, we're looking for, so a, First of all, I'm not judging, so for all of you that might nominate someone, I'm not part of the judging process. Um, but really what we're looking for is some data and some facts. Uh, it's 600 words, three questions as I uh, mentioned. It's really what, what is someone doing at work? How have they made a difference? Are they a change maker? What are they doing in their community? Is there, are they going above and beyond, as Tara mentioned? And the public service one specifically, um, you know, we didn't have a category that really was military or that had something to do with public service or someone taking that social risk of running for office, so that was another reason that we thought there's women out there that are just doing such incredible things and the, um, the social risk that people take to sometimes put themselves out there and try to really make a difference. We, want, we wanted to highlight them in this as well. So it's really um, personal, professional, and then what are you doing to make this world a better place? And you're not supposed to include the name of the business and the organization. You are not. Um, it is blind. <clears throat> so Olivia Essig, who was the chair last year, she actually sits and reads every single nomination and blinds them. So as an example, there was someone um, that was nominated that did a, uh, had a pet service company. And she, instead of you know dogs, put clients and really tried to make it so that if you read it, you would not know who it was about. Because it's really, what are the achievements? What's the data? And what is this person doing to make the world better? And February 17th is the deadline. Yes. So got to get on that. We're going to bring up the website too, just to show women how they can do this, just yes. to make it a little bit easier. So we have it on the screen. Basically, you just go to the website? Yep, so go to the website. Um, try to blind it as much as you can, otherwise Olivia will be there to ensure that it happens. Three questions, as I mentioned, um, 200 words per question, so 600 words total. 
I can imagine there are probably a lot of nominations for this. Yes, so last year we had 55, which was record setting. Uh, we, we hope to get more this year because there are truly so many women out there. If you think about the people that you work with, you think about the people that inspire you, your mentors, your mentees, there's just so many people that are so deserving. So we would highly encourage that everyone take just a little bit of time it takes maybe more than a little bit of time if you want it to be winning and get some data. Um, something that I always say is one of the best recommendations I can make is if I was going to nominate you, I would call you, I would tell you, and I would ask you for the data that might make sense because you're probably going to know more than I am. I know that's kind of an awkward conversation, but in the end, the person you're nominating feels very, very flattered. Well, let's bring up the details now of the actual event. So, Tara, if you want to walk us through so we can mark our calendar. Yeah, Tuesday, March 21st from noon to 9 p.m. We'll have educational sessions, panel discussions, experiential activities, and then the trade fair. We're making that very active as well for the local vendors. And then it'll conclude with the evening, evening banquet where we give the awards away and have a great time. And there's that experience activity, too, that you wanted to mention because you're bringing it back this oh, year by popular demand. It's my favorite. Yep, packed back by popular demand. It is a write a letter to your future self. So you'll be able to go in a room and you can write a letter and then you'll get it sent to you one year from now. And you write in there all the things that you want to accomplish. Because we know when you write your goals down, they're more likely to happen, right? right? And so I ran into someone the other day and they're like, oh my gosh, I should be getting my letter soon. I can't even remember what I wrote in there. I'm so excited. Like people are really excited about it. So think, think about your goals and come write them down and it's a lot of fun. Speaking of exciting things happening. We have an awesome keynote speaker. So Kristen, tell me you've heard her speak before. Yes, so I heard her speak in Milwaukee and she was phenomenal. And we, Tara and I both go to a lot of business conferences. Um, this is probably the best speaker that I've ever seen. She is a cutting edge researcher, as it says, trend spotter, storyteller. She's a speaker, writer, founder. She talks a lot about how these emerging trends will affect our marketplaces, how we can stay relevant as organizations, as educational institutions, even how to maybe talk to your children better um, and to really understand up and below when it comes to age groups, um, how to really make sense and, and thrive in different generational, um, generational items. And she's hilarious. I think that was the, the best part was she was basically a comedian that was wicked smart with doctorate degrees who just made the entire experience really, really fun. And I think where we are with workforce in Sioux Falls um, and just the generational shifts that will soon happen, there could not be a better speaker. She's by far the best I've ever seen. Ooh, exciting. It sounds so good and so inspirational. So thank you both so much for coming in today and telling us yeah. all about the event and how we can nominate some women in our community. Thank you again yeah. for having thank us. Thank you. This year's Women in Business event takes place Tuesday, March 21st. The event begins with informative educational sessions and ends with the SME Women in Business Dinner, during which the winners of the Women of Excellence Awards will be announced. The Women in Business event is one of the region's largest professional, educational, development, and celebratory events highlighting women. Tickets are on sale now through the website smesufalls.org. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by SME Women in Business, where you can connect, grow, lead, and celebrate area women who are leading their mark on the business world.